This is Pokemon Sword on Yuzu Emulator Android without the best settings. Now as you guys can see after applying the best settings we are getting more than 30 FPS. Yo what's up guys it's Aptrex here. Today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to fix all the issues which you face on Yuzu Emulator Android. The first tip which I would like to give is that use the latest GitHub build. As you know Yuzu Emulator Android is an completely open source emulator available on Play Store but the developers release the early builds on its GitHub page. So if you want newer compatibility, better performance then you should definitely go with the latest builds currently i am on user emulator android build 87 released this morning and let's just go ahead and jump right into the best settings first of all i always recommend you guys to disable limit speed percentage and cpu accuracy keep it at auto and in these new updates of user emulator android if you just hold any setting it will say do you want to reset this setting back to its default value let's just go ahead and tap on ok now that was general settings done let's go to system make sure to always disable dock mode if you are hoping to get the best amount of performance possible but if you guys want better better texture quality, better game graphics then make sure to enable it as it will make your game look way better and afterwards go to graphics. Now as always I recommend you guys to decrease the graphics resolution but this time we won't be doing any of that because I do believe that 720p resolution is the least which we can hope in terms of Nintendo Switch emulation on Android. All of the other Nintendo Switch emulators are capable of emulating games like Pokemon Sword with at least 30 FPS at 720p resolution. And the funny part about uh, the resolution scaling in Yuzu emulator Android is that it doesn't affect your FPS that much. So if you guys have a low end device, of course, go with the 0.75x or 0.5x resolution. But if you guys have a mid range Android device, then there is no issue whatsoever. You can keep the resolution as 1x. Just for today's video, we'll go with 0.75x resolution. Uh, V-Sync mode, make sure to turn it off. Afterwards, window adapting filter, make sure to keep it bilinear. Let's just go ahead and scroll down anti-aliasing method make sure to keep it none but if you guys want the game to look a little bit better then make sure to turn on FXA. I won't be doing that in today's video though. Go to aspect ratio make sure to enable stretch to fit. Make sure to dis disable disk shader catch option. If your game crashes I get so many comments telling me that uh, hey Aptrix my game crashes whenever I open in user emulator android before the game isn't used to crash. So make sure to disable disk shader catch and clear data of user emulator android and the crashing issue will be fixed. So many times what happens is that it will show black screen or crash directly when you start the game. So to fix it just go ahead and clear data of user emulator android then disable disk shader cache then import your save data and start emulating your game from the point where you left off it will indeed work without giving any force closing issues so we have disabled disk shader cache force maximum gpu clocks make sure to enable this option uh, this is only for adreno gpu so if you have mali gpu then you won't get this option Anyways, asynchronous shaders make sure to enable this option. It will uh, reduce stuttering issues which you might face if you are playing games like Pokemon, Sword or Shield, Demon Slayer, Hinokami Chronicles, Naruto or any Nintendo Switch game in general. Uh, if you enable asynchronous shaders, you will face some graphical issues but graphical issues are better than stuttering issue which happens almost every 2 to 3 seconds. And once you have disabled this shader catch, make sure to note that your FPS won't be constant always so that's an unfortunate part so if your game does not crash even after enabling disk shader cache then keep it turned on because it basically stores shader cache onto your Android device making sure that the next time you start your game it won't stutter as much as it used to. I'll keep it disabled for today's video. Let's go to audio output engine make sure to turn it null if you have a really low end Android device but we'll keep it at auto. Let's go to debug. Now here are the main settings. I hope that uh, user emulator Android developers can implement OpenGL API as well in future. That would be pretty amazing. Graphics debugging make sure to disable this option. Now most of the times what happens is if the fast memory is the only option enabled on user emulator Android and if you try out playing games such as uh, Demon Slayer, Hinokami Chronicles, FIFA 23 or any other game in general like Pokemon Scarlet, Legends Arceus then you will face a crashing issue. That's because if you want to play these games you have to go to debug and make sure to enable CPU debugging and disable fast memory. After enabling CPU debugging your games won't crash. That's the best setting you can enable if you want to fix crashing issues in Yuzu emulator Android. Though if you enable CPU debugging it will make sure that your game lags but at least the game will be playable. If you have fast memory enabled then you are all set for playing games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Sword and Shield and other titles which are more optimized like Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom etc. With that being said the next step to fix graphical issues 
we already fixed crashing issues we already applied the best settings to get the maximum amount of fps possible to fix the graphical issues which you might occur while emulating a game you need to add custom gpu drivers now custom gpu drivers only work with adreno gpus mali gpu users you can't really use any custom gpu drivers so i recommend you guys to use the latest mesa turnip adreno driver version 23.3.0 devel plus vulcan 1.3.261 this is the best graphics driver which i have been using since a very long time and it has fixed almost all the graphical issues which i used to get in games like pokemon sword demon slayer hinokami chronicles and many others so let's open pokemon sword and see the final results how well will our game work now so immediately you can see the cutscene is running at 60 fps there is no blur issues after applying the settings which i just showed you guys graphical issues will be fixed let's just go ahead and start the game and see how much fps will we get in open world scenarios now there is one another tip which i'd like to give you guys is once your game opens after we moved just wait for few seconds shaders will be compiled and your game will be much much smoother once the shaders are compiled you can always move ahead and uh, this is the reason why disk shader catch is really necessary so now that we just moved from point a to point b but uh, if you have disabled disk shader catch then all of those shaders need to be uh, reloaded but anyways if we just go ahead and go to system and make sure to disable dock mode then we should get even more fps there you go we just got more than 30 fps so that's how guys you can fix most of the issues which you might be facing in yuzu emulator android be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye